a shock when you get up in the morning because the temperatures are dropping and December temperatures are returning. Our chief meteorologist, Margaret Orr, joins us now. And how low are we going to go? You know, finally, we're going to have temperatures that you would expect to have this time of the year. We're going to drop into the mid 40s. Yeah. I think it's great. All right, so here is a look at why that cold front's moved to the east. That's what gave us all of our rain and thunderstorm activity that woke you up early this morning. High pressure is building in a little bit of cloudiness out there. Truth is, I think tomorrow is probably going to be one of our best days over the next few days. You can see that we look pretty great out there, but this is a look at the squall line that moved through this morning. Mostly right along this boundary is where we had some wind damage, but we did have a report of one tornado. It was over by Walker and EF1. Winds of about 100 miles per hour, so it was a rough go for three minutes. That's how long it lasted. And cause some damage. We can look at our forecast model and overnight looks pretty good. It's going to be chilly in the morning and then as we go through the evening, look at this. The clouds were turned. This is at midnight. We're going to have some showers developing tomorrow night. Then as you go into Wednesday, it's back. I mean, I don't know about you, but enough already with this rain. We've got a high chance of rain for Wednesday, especially in the morning. So here's the big picture. That cold front's to the east. Look at what happens. On the tail end, we get an area of low pressure developing with a warm front moving to the north. So that warm front moves north. It's Wednesday that you have the high chance of rain, high temperatures in the low 60s. Then look what happens. This frontal boundary kind of moves to the south. Isolated shower is certainly possible for Thursday, but it's going to be colder. High temperatures near 60 degrees. I think you'll notice that for your New Year's Eve. Now, with all of the rain that we've been having, especially to the north, the Mississippi River is running high. We're going to have to watch it carefully. Right now it's at about 12 feet, but it is going to be rising by January 2nd. It's going to be up about a foot and a half at 13 and a half feet. You start to have some traffic problems on the river. So something we'll keep you posted on. We had about three quarters of an inch of rain in many locations. And after the rain, the rainbow, Roslyn sent this in from Covington at 5 o'clock. That's so pretty. And then wait, look at this sunset. It's from Colin Landry. So pretty. And you can see how the lake was still kind of rough. So our high temperatures today were in the mid to the upper 70s. That occurred just after midnight. Then the cold front moved through. We dropped into the 50s, got a little bit of sunshine, climbed into the mid 60s. This afternoon. But for the highs and for the lows, we were about 15 degrees above average. And if you look at the month, we've had mostly above average days. We've had record highs. So right now, the average temperature for this December is 65.3 degrees. That is nine and a half degrees above average. We'll have to wait and see how we end up. And Anthony Pollard said this Willet was making groceries today. So we can check out our temperatures, and we're in the low to the mid 50s right now. It's kind of cool, a little breezy at times. Morning low temperatures, mid 40s to the upper 40s, so finally closer to that average. And your daytime highs are going to be in the low 60s, which is, again, close to that average. So let's check out the forecast, and there you can see three in the afternoon, about 62 degrees, clouds are increasing. Then for Wednesday, high chance of rain. For Thursday, it's just a slight chance of rain, but it's going to be kind of chilly. You're going to definitely need that jacket. For the first day of the year, we're in the low 50s for our high temperatures. This is below average, and as you go into the weekend, slight rain chance. Chilly mornings.